and gentlemen, welcome to New Line Cage Fighting 22. I am Elijah Thacker, and I'm here alongside Dave Frenette, the fight bro himself, and the legendary Colin Caprini will be joining us today. Glad to have you back, Colin. Glad to be back. Thanks for the offer, guys. You did a hell of a job last time we brought you in on short notice. It's like, that guy's special. He's got a talent. We need to cultivate it. I'm glad I'm here for the grappling part this time, too. Yeah, here we go. We've got uh, our first competitor already in the ring, a or in the cage, Avon Sailors. And he will be up against Samuel Winter out of Category 5. We've got nine grappling bouts coming up. That's our pre-show here. You're going to see some high-level BJJ, some really good competitors around the state of Kentucky and West Virginia and up in Ohio. Then we move on to our main card where we have 20... Eight bouts, kickboxing, boxing, and MMA. A smorgasbord. That's what I like to say about it. And we have Eric Swan as our referee tonight for the grappling. We are doing 10 minutes for the regulation time for the grappling matches. I think the uh, paperwork here is a little bit off. All right, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are off to a start here. And they end up in, with a single, single collar tie here. One's hunting for the guillotine, Mr. Winter here. David Saylor's getting, looking for connecting the hands into that double leg. Drags him to the mat. I settled here in the top guard. Sam Winter looking to scoop underneath that leg. Settles back in more of a closed guard position here, working with that right collar tie. Now we see Avon Sailor's posture up and looking to pass. Good retention there from Sam Winter. Got his guard broken open temporarily there, but he was able to retain. Now we see Sayers is in a pretty good spot to pass here. Let's see if he can finish it clean. Steps over in the top half, but Sayers is elevating it. Or, uh, Great job. Winner's elevating him. Getting back to half, uh, half guard there. He did a good job killing that butterfly hook from half so that it was stopping him from settling. Now it's interesting to see how the cage comes into play here. Generally, as the top man, you want to keep the guy's spine in a sh perpendicular angle to the cage make it difficult for them to wall walk, kind of control their head against, you see. Uh, so if you're Sailors, sailors you want to kind of drag him off the cage a little bit yeah, so he can't I get always, back up. I would always try to prefer to put people, especially when you can't hit them, try to drag them back into open space. He's doing a good job keeping that right uh, arm in kind of tight waist type position. He's now, not able to put a lot of pressure down here, though. On the other side of the coin, it's going to be tough for Winter to do much with his head pressed up against the cage. Yeah, he's completely smashed up against it there. Be interesting to see if he starts to try to open his legs and press off of the cage. That's really where you can get the most, most leverage is the bottom guy if you're not trying to wall walk it. He doesn't appear to be hunting in that direction. Winner's leaving that foot hanging out of that knee shield a little too much. Yeah, I know a guy like you, it's dangerous to do that. Yeah, that's, that's toehold territory for sure, but uh, Sailor seems to be content to kind of pressure, stay on top, looking for that Head and arm control, using good frame there. Looks like he might be able to get back to guard here. He's made some space. He did. Winner's doing a good job of not letting him pass completely over in the mount. Avon has good pressure, though. He's got that cross face really heavy. Uh, but very nice use of that knee shield to get back into close guard, or full guard. But now we see Sailor starting to work his way around. I do believe our notes were incorrect. I think Sailor's is the Cat 5 guy. I see Wes in his corner. Oh, he's able to throw the legs. So reverse everything that we've said so far. Oh, but he's falling oh, towards the, the knee bar. bar. But it, it's hard to see if the knee's in that lock. I believe he might have freed the knee line, but he just regained it. Mm -hmm. Now we're in kind of a backside type position. Seems content to come nice. back good up job. on top in 50-50. That was a good job by Sailor's, or by Winter. We'll get see back if to top position. 
Uh, he does a good job setting him back, though, to double-seated 50s. Now he goes to the outside, and he's starting to work a leg drag series from there. He's going to get his weight to collapse that hip in. So what are your options from here? So uh, generally, you'd be trying to settle down that weight and get your his left foot, uh, Sailor's left foot underneath of him to try to keep that hip pressure on that IT band, start to work up into uh, either, you know, the 10th planet name would be top stoner control into that leg drag position, trying to slide up either into mount or... So now Sailors has ended up in a bad spot here. He's let he's let Winter collapse on top of him. He's got dominant side control now. He passes through, and he's going to mount. And he's not only going to mount, he's going to mount with an underhook in the elbow already above the shoulder line. Ah, oh, but he lost that. He had to use his hands to base. That was good, good off balance by the bottom man there. But he's got wrist control, again, pinning that hand down towards the mat. He Maybe. thought about an arm bar there, he but he, made, he, he gave up a lot of space while he was thinking about it. And Ended up having to lose the mount. Ends up back in ha in side control. Slide, looking to slide that knee right back up in the mount, but good retention and recovery there. Well, now he's able to nice use Nice trip. That. Yep. Winter, is, he's, he's leaving a little too much space once he gets to a good position. It allows Sailors to get back to either the half guard or the guard. He's got very good guard retention. Now, if I were Sailor, I, yeah, there we go. He's able to free that foot from that. Grip, which was his knee was in a bit of a precarious position there, but now we see him settling back. Top half, he's working for. He's got double unders right now. Might be working towards a gift wrap type position. He's doing a good job keeping that chest pressure on the tricep. And it looks like it's wide open for him to knee slice through here if he wanted to. Yeah, I think he's trying to settle and go straight to mount. He's trying to slide up into mount. He's doing a good job of uh, controlling that underhook. He's using that shoulder to start to try to work it up again, try to get that arm up over his head. Five and a half minutes into this 10-minute match. Now he's got good pressure driving that far shoulder to the mat. Oh, he, he's electing to let go of that underhook to try to pass. Mm. Uh, but he's almost back to the mount. He's in three quarter. He's got mount wrist now. control though. Now we're in a, a pillow style V arm lock. Oh wow! So he's an Americana with the head in. He's either he can try. It's very That's difficult. A, it's on a tough one to finish. It's a tough one to finish on somebody with good range of motion in their shoulders. But I'd like to see him try to transition into the regular Americana. Get that down to that elbow down to the hip because he had a great great control of that arm. He's lost it now. Good. Good job, double unders again. Maybe hey, setting up that arm bar again. It seems to me like when he's going double unders, he's setting up an arm bar on that right arm. He's got a heavy, heavy mount. His hips are nice and low and heavy. This is this is beautiful top pressure jujitsu here. And you can see as time drags on, the bottom man is uh, getting more and more tired as he's carrying he's that weight. Now there he goes to spider walk and mm -hmm. isolate that arm. Now he's going back to pinning that wrist to the mat to go back towards that same arm there lock. There it is. Looking for it again. But it's like just so hard to find the leverage there. You can you can use counter pressure with your hips. He's using it to turn it over, though, and start to try to set up an arm lock on that arm, I do believe. Yeah, he's going to start shifting higher, trying to turn for the arm bar, but he doesn't like it. He's, he's bailed on it. Good defense on the bottom. Now we might be in a little bit Ezekiel of a yeah. choke yep, attempt he's going for here. Ezekiel. But he was, he's telegraphing things a little too much. That's the difference between blue belt jiu-jitsu and purple and brown and black. Oh, belt. there he falls to the arm lock Beautiful. on the other side. He's a good threat. Oh, but he loses the top position. Nice we'll see if he can get back up here. on top. Excellent job by Salyers getting his arm out of there. And Winters looks like he might be looking to transition to the legs. Now we're in a bit of a donkey guard, reverse guard scenario. Good job bringing the knees back in, but good job by Sailors to keep that top pressure. He's looking towards that knee bar again himself. Going on the other leg. Goes Beautiful. The knee bar. That looks. That time it looks like he's got the knee line in. He's got a little bit of a funky angle. He doesn't yeah, have the toes he quite lost controlled. it. A little, little bit of a scramble. scramble for the top position. But I believe you saw in that scramble that he started to wear Sam Winter down a little bit. We see heavy, heavy pressure from Sailors the entire match. You know, just, you know, if we were scoring points, I think he'd be way ahead. But 
Well, you're looking fist in the neck there, pressure. He's not able to get a good blood shot there, but he is able to make him uncomfortable, make it harder for him to breathe. He's now looking for the arm yeah, triangle now here. almost an arm triangle territory. If he can get that forehead to the mat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His is. coach just said get that head low. But he's out now. Yeah, he's he's safe. About a minute and a half remaining here in regulation. You hear West calling for the smother. Whenever somebody's playing very defensive from that guard position, a lot of times the best thing you can do is go Ezekiel right to the smother. But now here. he goes back to the punch choke. He's got pretty good pressure there. And it now made he's it, got his hands He connected. got a reaction out of him with that one. Yeah. Got his hands connected. He needs to keep a lot of chest pressure down on top of that fist, though. Looks like what he's doing. Yeah, now he's bringing his forehead in. Good coaching by Wes here. Ah, good Lost escape. the grip. Slipped. Good job keeping that. Very impressed by the defense here. And you can tell Winter didn't like that because he's fighting those arms now. He's wise to it. Trying to shove the arms up above his head. About 30 seconds remaining here in regulation. We're about to hit those EBI overtime rules. That's where things get interesting. Still fighting for the get those arms up above his head. I think with this uh, short time period, time's 10 seconds left here. Might have a hard time actually setting some up. It might be time to just kind of throw for that arm lower, which looks like what he's thinking about. Time. And now we enter our first EBI overtime round. Now explain this to the viewers, Colin. So what's going to happen here is uh, he's going to flip a coin, and we're going to see uh, whoever wins the coin flick gets to start in the attacking position, I believe is the rule set we're going with here. He'll get to either choose uh, an arm bar position like a spider web or pin juji, and, uh, or start on the back with both hooks and a harness in. Now you see him going. Yeah. And Colin's going to tell the crowd what he just told you guys. EBI overtime. And we see here. Sailor starts out on the back. He's looking for that rear naked choke. Winner's looking to escape. Good control here so far from Sailor's. This is some good control time, even if he's not getting the submission. Winner's doing a great job fighting the hands, controlling that one arm. Rear naked choke defense 101. Let's hear it, Colin. Fight the hands. Don't let that hand get underneath your neck. He's done a good job of getting him uh, over to the uh, what they call the safe haven side, right? So he's on the underhook side down, not the choking arm side down, which starts to mitigate the uh, threat of the arm triangle if he is able to get his shoulders to the mat. We see he was able to uh, defeat the, the body triangle earlier, so he's forcing him to play just two hooks. We're a minute into the OT here. If you can get two on one, two hands, and control that one arm, usually you're safe. Very, very difficult to, to rear naked choke somebody if they have good defense. They've got their shoulder shrugged up nice and high, and they're defending with the hands. It's a, it's a, a different beast here with no gloves on. Uh, an MMA, very, very easy to defend rear naked chokes. Um, but uh, got a little bit more slippery action for the offensive guy here uh, as he's trying to get that blade of that forearm underneath of the neck. Now we see he's got him over on the choking side. We've got 30 seconds left here in this uh, first iteration. Looks like he's trying to peel that top hand off now. Fight that grip. Excellent job by Winner, though, hanging tough with it. He's got to get out of here, though. If we're timed on fastest escape, he's been hanging out here a long time. Yep. Very impressed with his defense through the match. Ten seconds here. And he makes it the full two minutes. So now he's going to get a shot on the uh, either the back of the armbar position, whatever position he chooses. Uh, Sam Winter, that is. And Sam Winter is looking 
tired here. That was a grueling opening this round. This has been a long battle. He's electing to start on the back as well. Now we see. You know, I think he's we, able to lock a body triangle here. Now it's a little bit on the foot. We'll see if uh, Sailors can get him over to that side. But he's doing a good job fighting. It looks like I can't see the angle from here, but he might be pretty close. No, he doesn't. He's not under the chin yet, but he, he is uh, doing a good job using the chin strap there. Start to get some smother action. Starting to work for uh, rear naked chokes, man. In competition, they're often a very dirty thing. We'd like to see that nice clean underneath of the neck, but these very quickly turn into face crank territory. You've got to be willing to be a little bit of a jerk. Yeah. That's something that I, one of the biggest things I noticed when I went and trained at the B team is those guys will just get their bicep over your face and try to break your teeth and your nose and your jaw. It's a, it's a nasty, hard position. Now he goes to a half. And he's starting to try to turn into the arm triangle. And there he's now out. As long, he escaped. He's in the arm triangle, though, so as long as he's still in an active submission, time's still alive. Ooh, oh. He was able to catch him back in half guard. So 59 seconds. Uh, escape there from Sam Winter. Now we'll enter the second round, correct? Yep, now we're going into the second round. So we saw uh, Sailors was able to escape quite a bit faster in that first iteration. So he's, he's built up a one-minute lead already here in ride time. Very impressive jiu-jitsu, I would say, from these guys. Good matchup. Both guys very skilled, and you know that's that's why we've not seen a submission yet. They're they're just evenly matched guys. And there's the body triangle again. And he's got slightly longer legs, so he's getting a little more play with that body triangle. But he's a little more aggressive with opening up his uh, his over under to start to hunt for subs, which is. Uh, Gotten him to some closer sub opportunities, but it's also gotten uh, his his opponent to escape. Which, with with a good body triangle, you can be a little more liberal with that uh, seatbelt grip exactly. for your control. Now he's out. Very nice. That's the big game changer, I think, when you understand the importance of back control and how big that seatbelt grip is. The seatbelt grip matters more than the hooks. And we see after that, uh, after that iteration, uh, Sailor's still up on ride time, even, even though he's only gotten to go once here. So he's still got a 30-second approximately lead. We see here, Winner's got good back control. Or Sailor's got good back control here. Yep. And we saw him try to hunt for that body triangle a little bit in the first time, but he's, like me, he's got the curse of being a, uh, a shorter man. He's using that more traditional back control, and he's got that tight, tight seat belt grip, which is perfect. Yeah. It makes it very tough for the guy to turn and move to escape. Very, very difficult to lock up a body triangle when you've got those kind of short, thicker legs. But he's doing a good job of using both of his hooks to control. I think he's comfortable with his defense. He might be looking more to get towards ride time right now, right? He's, he's keeping his chest welded to that shoulder blade, keeping his harness nice and tight. He's not opening up too much. But this time he is on the choking arm side. Um, we see Winner's doing a good job trying to defend the feet. He's able to take him over to that side. We've got one hip almost to the mat. Win Winner needs more of a sense of urgency about getting out of here right now. Yeah, he does. We, we see uh, Sailor's bringing that arm up, trying to trap trying to trap the top arm, He's looking for that straight jacket. Now I believe we might have a, a submission s position here. Oh, That's he got it. Him. Very That's nice. It. And we have a winner here, I believe. Very impressive work from the uh, Category 5 grappler here. Very impressed with the defense from Sam Winter, though, throughout regulation and in OT, even though he was ultimately able to catch him with that arm trap, BJ Penn style. Yeah, we, we've been calling him by the wrong name the whole time. That's Sam Winter. That That's won. Sam Winter. Okay, that makes sense. I think we Excellent job by Samuel Winter out of Category 5. Excellent job by Sam Winter. Yeah, I apologize for, for getting the names confused there at the beginning. Happens to the best of us.